Okay, so then, Papi, what's the first time when it is 30 meters to the right of the origin, 30 meters to the left of the origin, and it's corrected four significant figures? Okay, let's have a look. So, they want to know when it's left and when it's right. Um, interestingly, they said forwards the first time. So that's a little bit strange. Um, I, may, I wonder maybe if they've just mixed things up. Let's go with the convention, which is, that we should, you would usually say forwards is positive, out of left and right, which would we usually say is positive? Forwards. Out of left and right. <laughs> we would usually say to the right, okay? Which means, by the way, which means, by the way, when you look at this, right? Remember, this x-axis here, this is x, and this is time, okay? Which way do you look at it? Which way is right? Well, I'm saying this positive direction is to the right. So you actually have to turn your head, if you're looking at it this way, you turn your head like that. Does that make sense? Because then you can see, oh, now this is going to the right, this is going to the left, so time is going down this way, okay? I'm just pointing that out because it's a little bit weird to think, oh, left, right, but I've drawn it on a vertical axis, okay? So that's a bit weird, just know that you have to watch out for that. I'm going to say to the right is positive. So for the first one, part one, I want to know, uh, I want to solve for x equals positive or negative. This is to the right, so I'm going to say 30. Okay. So let's actually do this. I've got my displacement function over there. So I'm going to say 120 sine that equals 30. And now you can see why they asked for four significant figures, because you've got nothing neat coming out of this, right? Now, it does say, right, what's the first time? It has to be the first time, right? Because clearly it's, it's got an infinite number of times. So what do I do with this? I'm going to use my inverse trig. So I'm going to say pi on 12t equals sine inverse of the quantum. Oh, that's a lot of cubes. Yep. Is that okay? Uh, and then you're going to have to give me a number here. Can someone give me a number when you get this? 0 0.9652. Yep. Fantastic. Can I actually get a few more decimal places just for the sake of it? Because I always write down more and then I approximate. Someone got more for me? <laughs> I wiped off my answer. Was it asked for four Yeah, that's fine. Whoa, Jan. What, what did you do? <laughs> Have we got really someone who's in the ballpark? Radiance or yeah. <laughs> Always radiance. Always radiance. <laughs> We're in calculus lab. This is radiance. very true. Okay. Can someone give me another? <laughs> the kid will do it faster from scratch all over again. I totally did. It's zero. Oh no, it's not. Zero point nine six five one six. One six. Any more? Seven four seven. Oh. Da da da. Okay. Fantastic, thank you. Um, I just wanted to draw that out because, because we don't look at significant figures very much. As student students, there will always be a rounding question with decimal places, significant figures. Significant figures are obviously much more challenging because we, you've got to think more carefully about it. The zero is not significant, okay? In fact, any number of zeros up until the first non-zero digit are not significant. Uh, you only start getting zeros in here, which is significant. So therefore, like Nikita said, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four significant figures, so, and I'm going to write that. I should also provide the unit, okay? Now, common sense check. That's a small number. It's quite a small number. Does it make sense? Yes. <clears throat> how would we, how could you argue that this number makes sense to someone who's just looking at this, hasn't done all the calculus and all that kind of thing? Um, yeah, what do you reckon? It takes, it takes um, 12 <coughs> seconds to remove 120 meters. Hold on, pause for a second. It takes 12 seconds. Yeah, it takes six seconds to travel 120 meters. Okay, so what Raf is talking about, because in case you're not quite connecting the dots, is that this is my very rough drawing of the displacement function, right? I know the period is 24 seconds, so where does that belong on my set of axes? It's right there at the end, isn't it? So there's 24, <coughs> right? Which means that, for example, starting at the origin, how long does it take me to travel and then come back to the origin? That's a common question. It's just half of the period, right? Which means, to get to my extremity of motion, 120 meters away, how long does that take me? 
It's a, a quarter of the period, right? A half of 12. Okay, so it takes me six seconds to travel that far. Six seconds, okay? So I can work out what my average speed is, but notice, when do I travel quickly? Next I travel quickly when I'm close to the origin, right? Which is we're at the beginning, right? So these first 30 meters, they flash by like that. The last 30 meters, they take much longer, right? How would you work out how long it takes to do the last 30 meters? I'm looking for a time. I mean, think about this. We use this method to find out how long it went to, how long it took to go the first 30 meters. How would it take? How long? What would I do to work out how long it takes me to do the last thing minus the rest? Yeah, so what I would probably do is, just like I've solved here for x equals, that's 120, right? I've solved for x equals 30. Probably, I mean, there's lots of ways to do this, but for my brain, the first place I go is solve for x equals 90, right? Because that's where the last 30 meters begins. I already know where the last 30 meters ends, and then you can come up with a time, okay? Um... Let's just try that out. I mean, let's just see what's different. Have a look. If I solve for x equals it's 90, this is just going to be 90. This will be 3 quarters. 3 quarters, 3 quarters. Can someone give me a number? Can someone give me a number? That's right, Jeff. Just punch it in. It's like negative. It's not. It's not negative. It shouldn't be. It's, it's this. Oh, hold on. Oh, ah, okay. All right. Oh, this, is, this is more interesting than I thought, which is good. Can I get a number? Let's get the number. Um, t equals what out of this? I think I've lost. No, no, no. Well, just, just tell me what the number is. As in, like, the, uh, can you add them? 3.23935. 3 point? Because it's not past Have you got a negative? Or it's not past one. Uh, do you remember we got this number? What was the point of that number? What was my point? In, why, why was I interested in that number? It's the time it takes to get to 90. Okay, so the time it takes to get to 90 is 3.2 seconds. So therefore, how long does it take me to get from 90 to 120? <coughs> Six minus that, right? Six minus that, 2.8-ish uh, seconds. Almost, well, is it three times longer than that? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. It does, right? Because look, at the beginning of your journey, you're going super quick, right? That's why it's so steep. And at the end, you're going super slow, right? Three times slower on average, okay? So that's why that part of the journey takes so long.